Designers use functions with clear turning points for a thrilling ride, but with smooth curves to make sure the car stays on the track for safety. This means the candidates for the shapes of the rides are polynomials, of which parabolas are a sub-function, and trigonometric equations, which would be sine and cosine. Designers use the lower orders of the polynomials because the lower orders, for example with second power, are smoother, with fewer interruptions. Designers also use, only use sections of sine and cosine because of energy use and safety. We all love roller coasters, but to make roller coasters safe and enjoyable, designers must use the proper shape. You can't just make a straight line for a roller coaster. It wouldn't be fun and it'd be dangerous at high speeds. So we wanted to look at the shapes of roller coasters to see which ones would be fun and safe. So we're going to build our own. We begin with a sinusoidal curve, the first half of a cosine curve, which gradually increases its rate of descent to vertical, then slowly flattens out. The cosine curve can be manipulated to be taller or wider, which influences potential energy from gravity, which changes the speed of the car. This is followed by a parabolic hill. Like the sine curve, the equation of the parabola can be altered to adjust pitch and steepness, and sections of the parabola can be used in making roller coasters. The turn in our coaster is also of parabolic shape, and is ramped to produce similar effects.